Hi, this is John Tate from the THQIT department. And what you're watching is an instructional video on how to install Lotus Notes Traveler on your iPhone or your iPad. If you have an Android, click over here. There's another video for you. If you're having trouble with Traveler, you already have it installed, but something's not working quite right, click over here. We've got another video for that as well. Otherwise, stay tuned. We're going to show you how to install Traveler right now. The first thing that we're going to do is go over the terminology that we'll use in the video. When you look at your iPhone or your iPad, you'll notice that there's a power button, a switch, volume buttons, a home screen, and the home button. Now that you know what we call these, you'll understand what to do when we tell you to do it. Before we get started, make sure THQ is aware that you're going to install Traveler on one of your devices. To do this, email USC support at USC Dot salvationarmy.org. If you put Traveler in the subject line, it will go directly to THQ's IT staff. If you have already done this, you would have received an email from us with install instructions. Of course, you can follow the install instructions that we email you, or you can just proceed on with this video. We are going to just fly right through this, so remember that you can always pause this video and rewind it if you don't understand something or if you didn't hear something clearly. Okay, let's get started. Press the home button at the bottom of your device and your screen should change to your home screen. Unless you've changed any of the settings on your device, one of the default apps at the bottom of your screen should be for Safari. Note the little compass that the green arrow is pointing at. Open that. Now that Safari is open, a search engine will appear. No matter which search engine you use, there is always going to be two different types of fields you can type in. One is a URL field, and the other is a search field. In this picture, the green arrow is where we want you to type. The red arrow is where we don't want you to type. In the URL field, type in traveler.usc.thq.org. Keep in mind, we don't need you to type in www or http or anything else, simply traveler.usc.thq.org. Once you have this typed in, press the blue Go button in your keyboard. If you have successfully typed in traveler.usc.thq.org and press the blue Go button, your screen will look like this. Now it's going to ask you to sign in. Your username is your full email address. For an example, I'll use mine, john underscore tate at usc Dot salvationarmy.org. Now it's going to ask you for your password. The password that we use is called the same time password. The same time password is also your Red Shield Toolkit password and the password used for IBM connections. There are many places in the Army that we use this password. Oftentimes we recommend that people have the same same time password as their Lotus Notes password. So if you're not sure what your same time password is, try your Lotus Notes password. It just might work. Then click Log In. If you got your username and your same time password correct, your screen will now look like this. If you did not get this far, you can go back and try using a different username. On rare occasions, your username may be first name, space, last name. In my example, my username would be John space Tate. If your screen does look like this, then you've succeeded and you're ready to move on. Now we need you to click where it says Configure. Now click Generate. Click Install. Now you need to type in your four digit security pin number. And now you're going to click Install and Install again. It is now going to ask you for your same time password once again. Now click Done. Now press your home button again and return to your home screen. At the bottom of your home screen there should be default application icons. We're looking for the one that looks like an envelope and it will open up your mail file. This is what your mailbox will now look like. Don't worry if there's not mail right away. Sometimes it can take up to 10 minutes before your initial mail populates in your device. If all went according to plan, you're all set and you'll start seeing new mail calendar entries and contacts on your device within a few minutes. If Traveler does not appear to be working correctly,
please feel free to call the IT department at THQ at 847-294-2267. You can also email us at usc-support at usc.salvationarmy.org. Remember to put Traveler in the subject line so that your email will get expedited to THQ. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to install Traveler on an iOS device. We hope you have a wonderful day.